America is at war. America has been at war with our Mother Earth since its founding. Our Mother, the giver of all life, is not mentioned in the Constitution and is not protected by the Bill of Rights. Her only protection comes from those who stand to defend her, those who honor the Earth. Crazy horse. We hear what you say. One Earth, one Mother. One does not sell the Earth. The people walk upon. We are the land. How do we sell our Mother? How do we sell the star? How do we sell the air? We, the indigenous people of the Americas, have stood to protect the earth throughout history, and the tragic results are woven into the fabric of America. Over 2,000 tribal nations have become extinct in the quest for land. Industrial society has only existed for a fraction of the Earth's life. But already, the Earth's ability to sustain life is being called into question. More species have been destroyed in the last 200 years than throughout all of history. 75% of the world's fisheries are overexploited or in a state of collapse. The world's fish and the ecosystems they are part of are on the eve of extinction. Between 1990 and 2000, North America lost at least 30 million acres of forest. Only one-fifth of the world's ancient forests remain. We are losing our forest at a rate of 76,000 acres per day. In the last 30 years, America has produced more than 70,000 metric tons of high-level nuclear waste the most fatal substance known to mortal beings. Our elders have taught us that we are not separate from the earth. What we do to the earth, we do to ourselves and future generations. Today, tribal nations control only 4% of our original land base. Yet our homelands remain the last domestic frontier for America's war on the earth. From the Cree people of the north to the Zuni people of the southwest, indigenous lands are under attack. Corporations and the United States government covet our land for timber, oil, coal, uranium, and to serve as dumping grounds for America's waste. The United States is the largest energy market in the world. America's energy policy is based on the gross military prowess to go anywhere in the world extract anything we need. The ancestral homes of the Gwich'in peoples in the Arctic Wildlife Refuge are being assaulted to extract what is equivalent to a six-month supply of oil. America plans to destroy one of the last sustainable native ecosystems in North America, referred to as America's Serengeti, home to over 120,000 porcupine caribou and 7,000 Gwich'in peoples. D, M, and E, the largest railroad construction project in the last 100 years, often referred to as a bridge back to the 19th century, will take coal mined from the lands of the Crow and Northern Cheyenne and Montana across the lands of the Lakota and Dakota peoples to bring coal to the coal-fired plants in the east, resulting in the destruction of native land and an increase in global warming. Every single proposal in North America for dumping high-level nuclear waste targets native land. The Western Shoshone Nation of Nevada is fighting to stop their sacred Yucca Mountain from becoming a radioactive burial ground for our country's nuclear waste. Over 107 stocks of salmon have already become extinct. 89 more are endangered because of megadam hydro projects on the Yakima, Nez Perce, Umatilla, and Klamath reservations. Similar hydro projects have flooded more than 3 million acres of Cree lands in Canada. The salmon, the buffalo, the elk, the deer and the eagle, they are our brothers and sisters. When they are attacked, our way of life is attacked. These struggles are at the heart of Native America. They are struggles at the heart of Honor the Earth as we work for environmental and energy justice. 
The U.S. military spends more in one day than George Bush proposes to spend on the entire budget to develop the much-publicized hydrogen car, the most promising replacement to the combustion engine. The Bush administration is dismantling environmental laws, slashing the funds for environmental protection, and opposing development of alternative fuels and energy conservation, in effect, declaring war on the Earth. We do not shed tears alone. We are resisting and organizing. Honor the Earth stands in solidarity with indigenous communities who stand up for their lands and the Earth. We reach out to people like you who will take a stand and honor the Earth. We raise critically needed money to support native groups defending the Earth we all share. Over the past decade, Honor the Earth has given away more than $840,000 to over 100 Native groups across Native America. The Honor the Earth Energy Justice Initiative links groups resisting energy exploitation with groups developing positive energy solutions. Did you know that there's enough wind on native lands to supply more than half of America's energy needs? On 12 reservations alone in North and South Dakota, the wind blows so strong there is enough power to provide 41% of the entire country's electricity. Did you know that the sun striking America's highways every year has more energy than all the fossil fuels consumed by the entire world? Just as Native communities are at the heart of struggles to defend the Earth, we are in the forefront of implementing sustainable energy solutions. The first commercial wind turbine in Native North America is now operating on the Rosebud Reservation in South Dakota, and tribes from Washington to Florida are developing wind and solar power on their lands. Honor the Earth supports tribal communities and groups like the Hopi Foundation, to install solar panels on the Hopi Reservation. Like the White Earth Land Recovery Project, to transform its one wind turbine into a wind farm that can export power. We have power. Please join us. Together we can create safe energy and secure a future based on peace and justice for the coming generations. Visit us online at www.honorearth.org or call us at 1-800-EARTH-07. Be a voice for the Earth. Honor the Earth. Crazy Horse, we hear what you say. One Earth, one Mother. One does not sell the Earth. The people walk upon. We are the land. How do we sell our mother? How do we sell the stars? How do we sell the air? Crazy Horse, we hear what you say. Crazy Horse, we hear what you say. We are the seventh generation. We are the seventh generation. The seventh generation. We are the seventh generation.